Here is an introduction to the MercyLion A40 Dual Channel Wi-Fi Hidden Dash Cam, installed in the Porsche Macon model. Disclaimer. It is recommended to have a professional to install it. You are free to attempt the installation yourself, however MercyLion will not be held liable for any product and vehicle damage or personal injuries sustained by you or others during the installation. Part 1. Remove and Unplug. This schematic diagram shows taking down the rear-view mirror housing and removing the connecting wires of the original car. Due to the large number of models, this diagram is for reference only. The first thing you're going to do is assess the mounting positions on this unit. Now with this unit, you know what you'll be removing from the top. Pry the cover with a pry tool with a little force and pull it a little far away from the top. You'll see a block which writes passenger airbag pushes the block forward, and take it apart from the cover. Please note that do not to unplug this block from its connecting wires. Otherwise, the airbag light will always be on. And this fault light can be eliminated only by came to repair shop asking for help. Now we taking down the rear view mirror housing. Use your both hands to slightly forcefully open the rear view mirror housing of the original car in the opposite direction so that it is divided into two sections. Second, we need to taking down the rear view mirror. Hold the root of the rear view mirror firmly with your left hand, fix the mirror frame with your right hand, twist it slightly counterclockwise, and then you can remove the rear view mirror after the connection position is released. Next, taking down the metal rectangular box in the middle which you can gently pry open with a flat blade screwdriver. Alright, we going to take off the rain sensor by hand. And gently pull out the rain sensor cable towards the windshield. Disconnect the connection between the rain sensor cable and the rain sensor. Then pull out the rain sensor cable in the opposite direction of the windshield. Gently pull down the gap with your hand, and the rain sensor can pass through the middle plastic barrier. Now, the remove steps is finished. Part 2. Plug and Play Front Cam. This is the schematic diagram of plug and play and installation of hidden driving recorder. Due to the large number of models, this diagram is for reference only. This is the rain sensor plug and play cable, a Y shape. The upper part of the Y, for easy distinction, it is called port A here, is the rain sensor cable plug. Port B, is used to insert the rain sensor slot. The lower plug of Y shape is connected to the connecting wire, port C, of the recorder. Pass port A of the plug and play cable through the plastic barrier in the middle to make it close to the original fixed position of the rain sensor. And then connect port A and the rain sensor into each other. Reinstall the middle metal rectangular box. Connect the rain sensor cable of the original car to the B port of the plug and play cable. The upper part of the Y has been finished the connection. And then, we plug the C port and the recorder's connecting cable into each other. And the entire rain sensor and dash cam connection has been finished completely. Part 3. Install the front cam. First, install back the rear view mirror. Tear off the protective film of the lens of the recorder. Split the recorder into two sections. Hold the dash cam with both hands and combine them in front of the windshield. Fix the recorder firmly. Split out this rear cam plug cable and put it aside to waiting to connect the rear cam afterwards. Arrange these wires neatly and tuck the excess wire into the gap. Ok, now you can install the back cover of the sensor back. Put the passenger airbag block into the empty slots here. And then align the cover of the sensor to the four corners and install it. It takes a few tries to get it completely stuck. Check each point, and then press the left and right sides with your hands. When you hear a click sound, it means that the cover has been locked. Press a few more times to make sure it's fully fixed. 
Then use a pry tool to tuck the soft edge of the back cover into the gap. Now the front cam is done. Similar to this type of models that needs to be divided into two sides with the hands, we suggest inserting the TF card after the recorder was installed on the top. Before install the dash cam back, we need to test whether the dash cam can record normally. Start your car. You will see the blue light of the recorder flashing. Which means that your dash cam is recording normally. You can also use the Mercy Lion viewer to connect the recorder to check its working status. Part 4. Install the rear cam. Here showing the rear cam wiring route. Wiring the rear cam cable from the roof to A pillar, then going down to the B pillar. Keep going to and C pillar, and straight forward to the center of the rear window. If you figure it out, let's continue the installation. First, find the rear cam plug from the front cam end and connected it with the rear cam extension cable. The extension cable is about 5.5 meters, it is enough to wiring to the trunk. Hiring the wire in the gap in the roof. Second, we wiring to the A pillar. Let's open pillar A and note that there are airbags here. Please operate carefully. Use the pry tool open the small lid with the airbag written on it. There is a torque screw in it, you need a tool to turn it out. Rotate counterclockwise like this. This is the screw taken out. After opening the shell of pillar A, you will see a white airbag. The airbag will pop up to protect your safety in case of emergency. Note, do not install slash mount the camera or cables near an airbag panel or within the airbag's working range, which will cause potential safety hazards. The right steps are past the rear cable through the behind of the airbag, as shown in the video. Then clip the housing of the A-pillar back. Continue to hide the wires into the gap in the headliner of the front door. Now we have reached pillar B. Hide the wire in the gap above the B-pillar. There is a corner here. You can use the pry tool. Then keep going to hide the wire into the gap in the headliner of the rear door. Now we arrive the C-pillar, walking through the upper of the C-pillar, and keep wiring to the rear window. Ok, work to the trunk and take out the rear cam and connect it with the rear cam extension wire. Wipe the glass of the rear window with a clean cloth. Tear off the 3M glue film of the rear cam. Paste it on the center line of the rear window and press it with a little force. Arrange the excess wire harness and hide it in the gap of the trunk roof. Now, the rear cam is done. Part 5. Road Testing The following shows the road testing video of a 40 front and rear of the vehicle. Thanks for watching.